The Jedi Order was an ancient organization that contained around 10,000 members at its peak. Seeking to protect and bring peace to worlds across the galaxy, the Jedi studied and used the light side of the Force to their advantage, embedding it into their lifestyles. So how was the Jedi Order created in the first place? The Jedi Order was created over 25,000 years before the Clone Wars. But before the Jedi Order came the Jedi Order. The Jedi Order was formed when eight large pyramidal ships, known as Tho Yor, searched across the galaxy and called upon scientists, scholars, philosophers, warriors, and monks who had studied the Force and brought them all to the center of the galaxy to a planet known as Tython. The purpose of them being brought to Tython was so they could study the Force and unlock its abilities. As they experimented with the Force, they discovered the dark and light aspects to it, to which they called the light, Ashla, and the dark, Bogan. Whenever they overused one side of the Force, the planet they were on would erupt in chaos. This forced them to bring balance to the Force, to which they eventually created the Jedi Order, whose sole purpose was to bring and keep the Force in balance between the light and dark. For the most part, the Jedi lived in peace, erecting massive temples and monuments across Tython, but all that changed when the Infinite Empire attacked. The Infinite Empire was ruled by the Rakata, a species that used the dark side of the Force to develop their technologies and weapons. Although the Jedi were able to repel the attack, the Rakata attack caused a split among the Jedi Order, with some members fully devoting themselves to the light side of the Force, and other members fully devoting themselves to the dark side of the Force. This caused a war between the two sides, known as the Force Wars. They fought with their respective Force abilities, and with Force-augmented weapons. During the war, the light siders created a new organization known as the Jedi Order, they believed that their powers should only be used to protect the weak and destroy those who they perceived were enemies. Seeing the destructive nature of the dark side during the war, the newly formed Jedi decided that they would only use the light side of the Force, deeming the dark side as an unacceptable practice that needed to be eradicated. The Jedi eventually won the decade-long war, but at the expense of their homeworld, Tython, which was destroyed and made uninhabitable as a result. This led the Jedi to settle on the world Osus, where they remained secluded for many years, studying the light side of the Force. Over time, the Jedi joined the newly formed Galactic Republic, helping them whenever they were attacked by outside threats. Their constant required assistance eventually made the Jedi more entwined with the Republic, giving them more power within the Galactic government, leading them to building the Jedi Temple on Coruscant. As more conflicts and wars arose, the Jedi were forced to permanently move to the Temple on Coruscant, as they needed to be close to the Republic they constantly protected. Thanks for watching this video. Be sure to subscribe for more videos like this one. And as always, may the Force be with you.